Everything you know is about to change. Welcome to Planet Earth, the one and only habitable planet in our solar system, a big rock that holds the past, the present, and the future of the human species. In the boundless, silent expanse of nothingness, in a space where our planet can exist in harmony, a singular event ignited the cosmos into existence, an event so colossal its echoes are still felt today. The Big Bang. It's not simply just an explosion. It's the moment of creation, the beginning of everything we know. Around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe expanded, cooled, and evolved into the complex cosmos filled with planets, galaxies, stars, and life itself. So when we gaze up at the night sky, we're not just looking at stars. We're seeing the unfolding story of the universe, a tale that began with the fundamental forces of nature coming together to create the complexity and beauty that surround us. And it all started with a bang. Galaxies, the building blocks of the cosmos, each tell their own story of cosmic evolution. From majestic spirals to enigmatic ellipticals, these cosmic cities harbor billions of stars, nebulae, and black holes, weaving a tapestry of light and darkness across the universe. Within these galaxies, stellar nurseries give birth to new stars, illuminating the darkness with their fiery glow. Planets like cosmic jewels orbit these stars, each with its own unique features and mysteries waiting to be discovered. In our own solar system, eight planets dance around the sun, each with its own distinct personality. From the scorching heat of Mercury to the icy plains of Pluto, these celestial bodies offer a glimpse into the diversity of worlds that populate our universe. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun, experiences extreme temperature variations, with surface temperatures soaring to over 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and plummeting to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit at night, which sadly makes it unhabitable. Our knowledge of Mercury was very limited, but that all changed with the Mariner 10. It was a pioneering mission, and it flew by Mercury three times, providing the first close-up images of another planet's surface. Next on our journey, we have Venus, shrouded in thick clouds of sulfuric acid, boasts a surface hotter than the inside of a pizza oven, making it one of the most inhospitable places in the solar system. Discovered by ancient astronomers, Venus's runaway greenhouse effect and toxic atmosphere prevent the existence of life as we know it. Moving on, we discover Mars, often called the Red Planet, due to its distinctive reddish appearance, is one of the most intriguing bodies in our solar system. It's the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest. The great question, is there water on Mars? Must not be forgotten. As we know it so far, evidence suggests that the red planet once had liquid water on its surface. Features resembling dried riverbeds, lakes and deltas indicate that water was present in the past. This planet has been a focal point for space exploration for decades. Various missions, from flybys and orbiters to rovers and landers, have studied the planet up close. Notably, NASA's rovers, such as Spirit and Perseverance, have played crucial roles in exploring Mars's surface, conducting experiments, and searching for signs of past water and life. Following is Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun, a giant among the celestial bodies in our solar system. It's not just the largest planet, but also one of the most fascinating, having a total of 79 confirmed moons. And unlike other planets, Jupiter has no real solid surface, primarily being made of hydrogen and helium. This is one of the many reasons as to why it's not a candidate for habitability. The Galileo Orbiter was a groundbreaking mission by NASA that traveled the universe for six continuous years to get to Jupiter and spent another eight studying the planet and its moons more closely. Moving on, we have Saturn, 
a gas giant taking place as the second biggest planet in our solar system. It's primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, making its density so low that it would float in water if such a cosmic scale experiment were possible. Saturn's rings, made up of billions of icy particles, create a breathtaking spectacle that has captivated astronomers for centuries, making it easily distinguishable from the other planets. These particles are believed to be remnants of comets, asteroids, or shattered moons that were torn apart by Saturn's gravity. Next on our journey is Uranus. The tilted planet rotates on its side, giving it its unique appearance and causing extreme seasonal variations that last for decades. It holds the title for having the coldest planetary atmosphere in the solar system, with minimum temperatures dropping to minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Its very distinctive pale blue color is due to the presence of methane in its atmosphere, which absorbs red light and reflects blue and green light. Uranus is, as well as most of the other planets we've seen, a gas giant, making it not habitable due to lack of solid ground, radiation, extreme temperatures, and many more. Going on, we approach Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun, is home to the fastest winds in the solar system, with gusts reaching speeds of over 1,200 miles per hour. Discovered by Johann Gala in 1846, we could observe that it's located about 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth. It's fascinating how despite its distance, this planet has a relatively short day, completing one rotation approximately every 16 hours. Sadly, Neptune is counted as another planet that does not sustain any kind of life due to lack of oxygen, radiation, harsh conditions, and other environmental characteristics. Leaving the Earth and its moon at last, we can begin to explore them more deeply. Earth, the third planet from the Sun, and the only known place in the universe to harbor life is a marvel of complexity and resilience. Its unique characteristics not only make it suitable for life, but also paint a vivid picture of the dynamism of our planet. About 71% of Earth's surface is covered in water, and despite this abundance, more than 99% of the living space on Earth is found within the oceans, making it the largest space in which life exists on the planet. It's estimated that more than 80% of the world's oceans remain unexplored and unmapped with the same level of detail as we have for the surfaces of the Moon, Mars, or Venus. The formation of land on Earth is a complex process that has occurred over billions of years, influenced by a variety of geological and planetary dynamics. The surface of the Earth is constantly in motion. Tectonic plates move slowly, driven by convection currents in the mantle below. This movement causes earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and has shaped the continents over millions of years. These events can pose significant risks to human populations, as they truly are unpredictable and uncontrollable natural events. As we all know, life of Earth is very precious, but we have to keep in mind that there is a low chance, but never zero, of experiencing an outer space catastrophe. I'm referring to an event that occurs when a celestial object, such as an asteroid or comet, collides with Earth. Depending on the size of the impacting body and the location of impact, the consequences can range from localized destruction to global scale environmental disasters. Such an event has happened in the past and is likely to occur again in the future. Although the timescales are long and the probabilities in any given year are low. With all of this in mind, maybe it's the right moment to start appreciating the word we live in a little bit more. Earth provides the perfect conditions for life to thrive. Its distance from the sun, composition, atmosphere and climate create a delicate balance that supports the existence of life. 
as we know it. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, animals are a big part of this journey. By appreciating the beauty and diversity of the animal kingdom, we can cultivate empathy, respect, and stewardship for the natural world. The Moon is Earth's only natural satellite and the fifth largest satellite in the solar system. It has a significant impact on Earth's tides, the stability of its axial tilt, and even its climate. It's said that it was created around half billion years ago when a Mars-sized body called Theia collided with the early Earth and the debris from this collision eventually coalesced to form the Moon. Unlike Earth, the Moon has a very thin atmosphere called an exosphere, composed mainly of hydrogen, helium, and trace amounts of other elements. The Moon's surface was long thought to be dry, but recent discoveries suggest the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed regions near the lunar poles. This incredible satellite has had profound cultural significance throughout human history, influencing mythology, religion, and even language. It has been depicted in countless works of art, literature, and music and continues to inspire people worldwide. Moon exploration has been an exciting journey of discovery and adventure. Since ancient times, humans have looked up at the Moon with wonder and curiosity. One of the most famous moments in space exploration history was the Apollo program, which landed astronauts on the Moon between 1969 and 1972. Neil Armstrong's famous words as he stepped onto the lunar surface, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, captured the world's imagination and marked a significant milestone in human achievement. Moon exploration isn't just about scientific discovery, it's also about dreaming of what's possible and pushing the boundaries of human research. As we reach the end of our journey through the mysteries of the universe, we find ourselves standing at the edge of infinity, surrounded by the boundless wonders of space and time. But amidst the uncertainties, there is one thing of which we can be certain. The universe is a place of wonder, beauty, and awe-inspiring complexity. So let us continue to explore, to discover, and to wonder at the marvels of the cosmos.